Hey guys, it's Thursday and it's day 11 of the 21 day uh, meditation that I've been doing with Deepak Chopra and Oprah. And I know some of you have joined in on the fun and I hope that you've stuck with your uh, daily routine of meditation and I wonder how it's going. Um, I'm just gonna kind of update you on how it's been going for me. We're, we're sort of halfway through 21 days here on day 11 and it's all about manifesting grace, through gratitude. Anyways, today's meditation was called Nature's Generosity is Waiting. So I came out in nature to feel the pull and the energy of, of the earth as opposed to the pull and energy of my apartment. Except when you're in a city, there's always this outside hum of construction and loud and banging. That's something that I need to block out. Prior to doing this 21 day meditation series, I wasn't meditating daily for a couple of weeks, but prior to that, I was meditating daily for maybe close to 90 or 90 something or 100 days. Um, and I, you know, I've talked about this before, but how meditation just kind of grounds me for the day. It helps me focus. It helps me be more creative. It helps me get shit done, essentially, um, that otherwise I would be quite frustrated by. But during this 21 day meditation, over the last 11 days, I feel like I've had a lot of ups and downs in the sense of, um, I can't really get through the 15 or so minute meditation uh, that's guided by Deepak. I find I get very distracted. I'm starting to go through this laundry list of things I have to do. You know, you have to pay attention and be aware of interesting timing and things that occur when they occur. And I feel like the timing of when this 21 day series started and where I was at with my job, even to be honest, where I'm at in my like cycle, my period cycle, I think that really affects what's going on emotionally and I think a combination of all of these things has added up to me being very agitated and me being very anxious and I'm trying to find my center and I'm trying to find this grace and it's only really happened in fleeting moments and it frustrates me that it frustrates me in the moment that I can't get through a meditation when I know that I've done it before so as I've said to some of you before the point during meditation isn't to get frustrated if you can't sit for a few minutes and meditate I mean if you're sitting and doing this at all you are meditating and I know that and it's in those moments of distraction and frustration that allow you to even, you know, it allows you to reassess where you're at. It allows you to reassess what's going on. And so I think the day of the 21 day meditation that kind of hit me the most was day seven, um, which was obstacles to grace melt away. And it kind of talked about when you are experiencing these obstacles or these struggles, whether it be with meditation or with other things in your life, like being overscheduled, overwhelmed, overworked, and just generally experiencing stress. And I feel like that's what's been going on. And so every time I've done these meditation series or anytime I've done any kind of meditation, there's always something reflected back that makes a lot of sense. Um, and you hopefully are noticing that with your own life as well, where the things that they are talking about on a daily basis come up later in the day, if only to kind of test you and mirror back at you so that you can put what you've practiced in your meditation into action. So through this whole process, even though it hasn't been as maybe easy and as connected feeling as some of the other times I've meditated, um, I know that what I learned on that day anyway, day seven, which is something that Oprah says, she's just like, the struggle is my true self asking me to look again, asking me to ask myself again. It's an opportunity to respond with all will be well. And it sounds so easy when she says that and you're like, of course that's what it is. Yes, I know. So that's what I've been trying to keep in mind throughout this whole 11 days so far is that this struggle or this confusion as to why can't I meditate or why am I feeling so anxious or why can't I focus, like what is going on is just only happening to remind me that I have to go deeper or something or to look again what is going on reassess um, and through this whole process you just have to trust what's happening right sometimes it sounds easier said than done uh, and that's kind of how I've been feeling I'm trying to not be negative I'm trying I'm trying to not be discouraged or anything I'm gonna keep doing it I've done it every day since day one uh, and there's obviously something else going on here and I, I don't know what it is I started um, thinking to myself and maybe this was just me thinking and not really being true but thinking am I grateful like maybe I'm not grateful enough maybe I'm not truly grateful um, I practice gratitude 
daily. I, I write gratitude lists, but also just in the moment of doing things, I'm appreciating what I'm seeing. And I feel like if you've been doing this 21 day meditation, you, you'll know that Deepak talks about being able to, you know, your perspective changes and the way you see things is heightened and you're able to see the biggest moments in the smallest things. For the most part, I'm doing that, but I just started questioning, I guess, my own ways and going, am I grateful enough? Is that why I'm frustrated? Maybe I'm not really grateful. Maybe I'm not really feeling gratitude as deeply as I should. I honestly don't know but it's something I've been wondering. Particularly in today's meditation, it's asking us to look at the things we want more of in abundance, but not things like cars and houses and money, but things like acceptance or forgiveness or self-love or compassion. You know, feelings and emotions are what we're really supposed to be focusing on and everything else will start to reflect that. And that's really what manifestation is. Like if you're not, you, you can focus visually on like say a house or a thing, but you also have to embody the feeling of what that's gonna feel like. So if that feeling is joy, if you're gonna experience heightened joy because you have a nice house, don't focus on so much the house, but focus on the feeling of heightened joy. Put yourself in that place, feel that all the time, whether you have the house or the thing or not. So I'm gonna work on that. I would say the first thing that I would like more abundance of is acceptance, acceptance for myself and my the way that I am without judging it and acceptance I think of others and not being critical of others or the way other people do things so throughout this last week or so with this 21 day meditation and in telling you that I've been feeling a bit confused and anxious and can't get through the meditation and trying not to get frustrated by it I saw um, the perfect quote and reminder on the on the perfect day that I needed to hear it and it's true and I hadn't quite really heard this before but it makes total sense it's on um, Cassandra Bodzak's um, Instagram if you follow her I'll link to her below uh, it's not her quote actually but it says you live out the confusions until they become clear meaning exactly what I just said when you feel that way when you don't feel perfect when you don't feel happy or joyous or whatever and you feel confused and you're wondering what is going on with whatever it is you're going through you have to be in that and you have to trust that 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 is the gift you're being given to come out on the other side a survivor or whatever obviously my situation right now being confused over meditation is not that extreme or detrimental but it's a confusion nonetheless and so I have to live it out and I have to keep doing the meditation until whatever it is I'm going through becomes clear so if that's how you're feeling right now if that's what you're going through in some way with something else remember stick by it sit in it feel it all get mad get confused but don't play into the negativity obviously try to experience the gratitude and see things for what it really is and and like Oprah and Deepak said, it is that thing that's being given to you that is the gift, that is the thing you need to be grateful for. You need to be grateful for that confusion or for that anger, because it's showing you the way. Okay, I'm gonna sit here a little longer and think or not think or try to not think. Uh, and there's a visitor behind us here. Ooh, puppies. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow for Ask Lauren. Bye.